the impeachment procedure forced Trump to ask for help from the worst enemy. However, the US president does not expect serious assistance from China. The scandal over the telephone conversation of Trump and Zelensky became the reason for the beginning of the impeachment process. The US president is accused of trying to put pressure on his political opponent Democrat Joe Biden with the help of another state. However, Donald Trump does not intend to reduce pressure on his domestic political rivals. The head of the White House is confident that he has the right to demand an investigation of abuses anywhere and anytime, and this should not be against the law. That is why the US president turned to another country with a request to investigate the activities of Biden. This time, Trump is asking for help from China. China is far from being the friendliest country towards Donald Trump. Starting with the presidential campaign and ending with activities as the leader of the United States, Trump pursues a policy of opposition to Beijing. This policy turned into a full-fledged trade war between the countries, which has been going on for a long time somewhat more actively, not so clearly. The United States cannot boast of good relations with China, and this request looked at least strange, for China, almost any politician who can drop Donald Trump from the presidency is a natural ally, and this country has no reason to help his protagonist. However, before saying that Trump was crazy, and waiting for help from there, from where only a blow can come, you need to understand all sides of the issue. Trump's message should not be taken in isolation from the election campaign and the domestic political agenda. In this case, the president's statement sounds a little different. China should start an investigation into the Biden activities because its activities in China were as bad as in Ukraine, Trump put it. Here it is impossible not to catch two subtexts that the president put into his words. For the average US voter, Ukraine is a country that can only emerge in connection with talks about Russia, Events in this Eastern European country affect the standard of living of the average American very indirectly, if at all. Biden's activities in Ukraine are still unknown due to the lack of investigation, but the fact that he could benefit by helping this country will not provoke such a reaction as Biden's sins in the Chinese direction. For a resident of the United States, China is a foreign policy opponent, and enrichment through the provision of services to the state will be taken much more seriously than similar activities in Ukraine, and just a moderate electorate will be torn away from it. Another goal Trump wants to achieve is the legitimization of the right to require anyone to conduct an investigation without running across the charge of drawing other countries into intra-American affairs. Recently, the president has been accused of using a number of countries to achieve his political goals. In addition to Ukraine, they are now talking about attracting Australia and Italy, and, on the latest charges, also Great Britain in attempts to discredit their political rivals. Trump is well aware that the image of the president, who takes the dirty linen out of the house is not the best reputation before the election. All the countries that are on this list are, or were, under the control of right-wing leaders who could provide assistance to someone close to them according to Trump. China's appearance on this list instantly discredits him, because the accusation. However, the cunning maneuvers of Donald Trump do not confuse the leadership of the Democratic Party, which intends to bring the impeachment process to a vote. For whom this vote will strike more is unknown, both parties are walking along the blade of a knife, and can fall off at any second. However, the longer the investigation goes on, the more questions arise for Biden, and it seems that the liberals decided to sacrifice their current leader in order to inflict maximum damage on Trump and increase the chances of electing one of the more radical candidates, the favorite of which so far Elizabeth Warren looks.